Check it out. Telefantastic. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Big Brother's Little Brother. It's day 27. That means a whopping 39,450 minutes inside the house for the guys. Yes, that's impressive. The big news today, well, pretty much it's the fallout of the nominations. Both Narinda and Paul now know they're nominated. And this is the moment when they found out what Mr. Bond. Narinda and Paul. Ooh. Ooh. Told you. You OK? Uh-huh. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're all right. You're all right. Poor old Paul. See, I actually came out of that gag myself, and everyone said, during the VT, oh, I thought that was quite funny. Should we do it again? What are our Mr Bond? <laughs> I pay them to do that. <laughs> OK, so uh, let's just go through a couple of details about the nominations. Nominations were six for Narinda and four for Paul, which is very interesting. Bubble was, the only, was only one vote away from joining them. Uh, you may be well aware already that we had a guest on yesterday from this esteemed newspaper saying that... Um, they're actually now backing Bubble. They're backing Bubble. There you go. Uh, for the third week running, Betty's votes predicted the final outcome. Dean has still yet to receive a nomination. That's three weeks. And the bookies now have Narinda as favourite to go out at odds at uh, five to one on, and Paul at odds at three to one. Narinda has, uh, as usual, taken it on board with feistiness, shall we say. Take a look at this. I don't like people in here. That's what you said, and you so, find it and hard. I find it hard yeah. to be with them. You're just being completely them. honest. Well, well, I'm actually, actually semi amazed. Well, but I'm surprised that you say that you dislike most of the people in here. Because if it's two, oh, I'm hurt now. It, no, most honestly, I'm not. I just wouldn't. No, you're being about honest, it. but then I know I'm included in that number. Yeah. Because. Um... <laughs> no, I do like you sometimes, but sometimes I do find you really like. Mm. Narinda there doing her chances no harm whatsoever. And uh, Emma introducing the word semi amazed. I'm not entirely sure if that's possible. And uh, Dominic Moen, who was on yesterday, is, uh, whilst he loves Bubble, is keen to get Narinda out, which has had Narinda fans up and down the country going mental at us. One such fan is on the line now. Hello, caller, identify yourself. The moment the caller is mute, and that's not going down too well. Hello, hello there, caller, once more. Any chance whatsoever of getting the caller onto the floor? OK, we'll try and get him on later on. Maybe he's actually uh, taken stock of the situation and thought, you know what, after that VT, I'm not a big Narinda fan after all. Who can say? Uh, but whilst Narinda's up for eviction, so is Paul. Now, we've had a lot of emails this week saying that Paul is dull. We say, Paul, dull? How dare you? you? You blaspheme against the Son of God. Think of all the moments when his brilliance has shone through, such as these. Um, I just want you to let, well, just let you know, to take me seriously, despite the fact that I've got glitter all over my face. Jacuzzi-tastic. Basically, um, we've got a problem in our family, bloke, bloke-wise, is that uh, me, my dad, my granddad, and it goes for a generation, we've got too much pride. Um, I was in a club. I think everyone's been quite cool. It all kicked off, it was over a girl, basically. And I'm going to be cool with them. We've got a challenge um, tomorrow. That is a wicked game. That's good. But I just want to congratulate everyone behind the scenes that this game that we're playing is absolutely magnificent. I've never ever played a game like it. But he started off and he took me to the floor. Because <laughs> it is absolutely... Knocked down by a bus. I jumped off a train as it was put into the <gasps> station. Just went down this crevasse and God ran across sake. the roof of this double-decker. That jet ski crash was mad. <laughs> Completely cool. I like training experience. I want to do this. It's quite interesting because... It's nothing really to do with me. <laughs> Very interesting. OK, uh, later on, we're meeting the man behind this sheet, the voice of Big Brother. How are you doing? Dear 27, and I feel fine. <laughs> Excellent television. <laughs> but right now, uh, the two people up for nomination this week uh, are Narinda and Paul. Now, arguably, Narinda is by far the stronger character. Two people have been nominated uh, out already. Evicted out already are uh, Penny and Stuart. Stuart, yeah, she's coming uh, on you. it again. Thanks very much. And, um, you're in the, like we said, is up for eviction. We should have this mystery caller on the line right now. Hello. Hello, David. How are you, mate? And who, and who is this? Keith Duffy here. Hello, Keith Duffy. How are you? Not a bad on yourself. Uh, yeah, we're flying over here. No worries at all. Now, uh, you're a big fan of Narinda. What's that? You're a big fan of Narinda, are you? 
Um, well, I'd be very diplomatic about it. I wouldn't call myself a very big fan of it, wouldn't it? <laughs> Good. I'm so glad we've done the research on this. One. <laughs> do, do you think the I, do you think the public should keep reading? Is it the fact that you know you you, you like this fact she's a character? Um, well, I think she's a very strong character. Mm -hmm. I think she's quite um, entertaining to watch on the telly. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, as somebody that's been in the house and understands the kind of stress that you go through while you're in there. Uh, I don't know how she kind of put how how you feel about her actually being in there with her. I think she's a bit of hard work. How do you compare this uh, from what you've seen so far to, to your time in the house, Keith? Um, I don't know. It's it's funny. It's a totally different situation in one way, and the, and the other way, it's kind of exactly the same. Uh, it looks like they're all having a bit of fun. We weren't in the house with that amount of people, so I imagine with that amount of people in there, it must be a little bit more stressful because. You know what I mean? There's so many different personalities trying, you're, you're trying, you're living with so many different personalities that you're trying to know and get mm. to know. And it's, I'd say it's very difficult. Who is the most boring out of the people you're with, if you don't mind me asking? The most boring? Yeah. Um, well, I don't know, there's only six of us, so I don't think anybody was really boring. I think everybody had the chance to kind of have the limelight on them and, uh, Nobody really came across boring at all. Well, half of them just seemed chilled out and the other half went crazy, didn't they? So it was, <laughs> yeah, it was great television anyway, Keith. What's that? It was great television anyway. Oh, well, I didn't see it myself. I haven't watched the back myself yet, but um, so I believe. I believe it was quite good. Yeah, it was brilliant. Listen, thanks a lot, mate. appreciate you calling. No problem at all, Dave. Good luck, mate. Oh, listen, are you, uh, would you come on the show on Sunday? Um, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll <laughs> for a few minutes. It's got nothing better. Doesn't even be on. Thanks a lot, Keith. Take no care. No problem. Talk to you soon, mate. God bless. Okay, excellent. Now, um, Stuart, uh, you were the early casualty. Sure. Why do you think people voted for you? And in, in, in light of that, why do you think people will vote for Narinda? Um, I think from, with me, you know, I had a couple of arguments and, you know, that I stood out as a character. Mm. And, and, you know, 86% of the vote obviously stands up to that argument. Narinda, I mean, I, I love the honesty. I mean, that's fantastic. I don't like people in here, you know. And, uh, and it, Emma said, was well, that me? Sort of, you know, expecting to say no. And she went, yeah, yeah, that's like, that's you. But, it's won't, it's but that, won't that make communication in the house just... Uh, awful because like you said before there's nowhere to go in that place no but i think you know she's got into her head she's th thinking well i'm gonna go uh, so it doesn't matter now it's you know i might as well say what i feel and and that's fantastic is she is in, in particular, a confident person, or is she a person that needs confidence, as it were? She, she's confident because of her sales background. I mean, that's you can tell that she was a medical rep, and, mm. and so that comes out. So she's, she's, she's up there to say, right, okay, I'll take it on, I'll take it on head to head to head. Which is, mm. which and is what about fantastic. Paul? I mean, Paul doesn't rock the boat, he's one of the quieter ones. Uh, it's been called boring. Do you think that's fair? It's a shame because Paul is a good, you know, he's, he's basically uh, he's a lad. That's what he is, you know, and he, he talks about beer and he talks about women and, and that's, that's his whole gambit and he's got one of the, the lines that he uses. And so, you know, it's a shame to call him boring. He's accident prone, so, you know, you follow him around. And is that the most interesting thing he's done? The fact that you just, if you just watch Paul for long enough, he'll injure himself. He'll, in yeah, that's it. Something will happen. You know, if something's going to fall on it, it's Paul, so just stand very close to him. You know? well, like we had, we had his, uh, his, one of his best friends and his sister on last week and they said, you, you just genuinely haven't seen the true side of him yet. I mean, do you think there's an inferno waiting to just rage there? Or? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be interesting to see. Hopefully he'll sort of, he's better, he better hurry up then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, now you're an inferno waiting to rage because we've got lovely okay. ladies outside waiting for you to pull sure. through the paces, so okay. you go off and get changed right now, right, that'd cheers. be fantastic. Uh, but with, in light of the fact that so many people have emailed in and said so-and-so's boring, so-and-so's trivial, etc, etc, who's the most boring housemate is our talking point today, give us a call. 0870 901 9070, 0870 901 9070. Later on in the show, we reveal the face behind Big Brother. How are you doing right now? Dear 27, and not long till me. I'm loving this already, you know. <laughs> really am. Fantastic. Okay. Now, to keep the minds off their, their boredom and the fact that they're not getting any S E X, uh, the housemates have spent a lot of time working out. Uh, you may uh, have already seen our potentially award winning video we put together, In a Stew. Well, uh, Stuart, as you know, gave us endless amusement with In a Stew. And right now, let's take a look at him geeing the troops up. Five, four, three. Two, oh, one, off you go. Helen, a bit more pace, come on. Pace yourselves. Yeah, that's yeah, it, that's Bubble. It. Come on, keep going, come on. Let's pace yourself, you're going very slow, Helen. Helen, you're going too come slow. Come on, too slow, Helen. Get yeah. your leg, come on, crouch. Go on, Ammo, keep going. Oh, good work, that's it. Come on, keep going, Bubble. 15 seconds gone. Come Easy, on, 15 come seconds on. to go, keep going, come on. Come on, let's push it. Helen, a bit more pace, come on. Good work, Brian. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two, one, rest. Six, seven, eight, let's go. One, 
two. Okay, there. Three. It's high up ten atmosphere. Four, Stuart's kindly five, agreed to breathe six, life into the inner stew once seven, more in the segment eight, I like to call one, outer stew. Two, stew, what are you going to be three, doing for the girls today? Four, no, we're just doing? really warming up on a, some type of aerobic exercise, getting them going, getting them warmed up. Then we'll go to the floor mats and get them doing some really nasty stuff. They look angry. Are they feeling yeah, angry? I think they are, yeah. <laughs> they're scaring me already, actually. Come on, keep going. Has there been any wink action going on yet? Wink, yeah. There's, there's, yeah, I'm going to go for the left and right wink, you know, one, two, three. <laughs> okay, cool. Now, go for it, my friend. Okay. Let's see, I'll go and talk I'll... to the girls in a minute. Cool. You get started. Right, Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go on, Devin, eight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, because we're moving the waist. Yeah. Keep moving your waist so you can feel it in, the, in your abs and that's, that's moving nicely. Don't extend your arms, otherwise we're going to get in all sorts of trouble. Okay. okay. What's next? Let's have a look. I'm going to just see, see what the technique's like. Lovely. I'm oh, okay. sorry, make you Lovely. run. <laughs> okay, so keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, Be tigers, seven, girls. Hey, keep quiet. Get angry with the music. Oh, Someone talking in the ranks here. One. Two. Irene, if I, if I can step in, Irene. Yes. How are you finding it so far? I'm really I'm enjoying it. Thank you very much. Is this, is this what you normally do when you go to the gym? Very similar. Yeah. Yes. Are you quite concerned about the amount of punching action that Stuart's wanting you to do? Okay. Well, it could come in handy. Could really? You never know. Like. Okay, good. So now I'll move along here. Just stepping across, working the chest, okay? So we're going to go, I see it left to right. One. Sorry, it's my fault. One. Maureen, two, are you quite concerned that Stuart wants to work your chest? Four. Huh? Five, <laughs> six, this is, we're working seven, the chest now. Yes. I'm just I mean, how are you one, finding it, all right? OK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do all this. A hard taskmaster? No, no, it's all right, thank do. you. Really? So it's what we do anyway. OK, yes. cool. Yeah. Do you think you, think you can teach them a thing or two? Or? <laughs> well, I five, don't know about that. Two, three, <laughs> four, fantastic, OK. Five, six, And Bush, seven, big brother, how are you finding eight, this? Dear 27. <laughs> No pain, <laughs> no gain. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. I'll do it with you, though, really. Okay, after the break, we'll finally reveal uh, to you the face of that man. But before that, Connie, the lady that's in charge of overseeing Big Brother, uh, lets us in on secrets of Big Brother overseas. Hi, I'm Connie Schalke. In Big Brother Switzerland Series 1, the three finalists were all women. Watcha. Welcome back to Big Brother's Little Brother. Still to come, we reveal the identity of this man. Day 27, and under three minutes till me. <laughs> I'm loving that. But first, uh, it's time for a gallery chat. Uh, we introduce a new, a new producer for us, Simon. Oh, oh, so unlucky. You so loved it, but you had just been sussed then. <laughs> I wasn't. Safest hands in Essex, Eastside. Si. Yes, indeed. What's been going on today? Uh, well, it's the end of the dance uh, task today, so mm. they've finished that. And... Uh, They've sort of been waiting for the uh, announcement of how they've done, which is sort now of then, imminent. Yes, and now then, there's been some deliberation, hasn't there? Mm. Why so? I mean, surely they've either passed or they've failed. Well, you've got to look at the tapes, check everything's uh, right before you make a decision. You won't want to rip them off, upset okay. them. So, and, um, and how's it looking? Can you tell us? I uh, can't tell you that. Big Brother will get back to you on that one, but imminently, uh, it'll be an announcement. So oh, he'll right. go far, won't he? <laughs> yeah. In Corporate what, as the case may be. Um, <laughs> Just, well, what we picked up when we were seeing was we, we, there was once where we, we saw Josh, in fact, had looked a bit slack on the old dance uh, routine. I'm sure, don't get me wrong, I'm not telling you how to suck eggs, but I'm sure you'll be picking that one up. Uh, any other news for us? Uh, they've had a little uh, task as well to make hats and fans for each other. They had to pair up and make hats and fans this to is reflect for, their for, personalities. This for Royal I believe, isn't it? Yeah, it's, and they'll get a little sort of summary treat, which uh, they're enjoying now, as you can see. Oh, so they passed that. What yeah, they've the done right with that What is the summary treat? It's uh, uh, an alcoholic summary beverage and some lovely fruit. Oh, lovely. Yeah, isn't okay, that nice? Cool. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. They had to pair up. Who paired up with who and who's uh, the most impressive? Brian and Narinda. But what a surprise. Well, very nice. That, Brian uh, Narinda's hat for Brian featured uh, a reflection of a slight trouser accident he had once in his youth, which was quite nice. Nice. And um, Helen and Amma, uh, uh, Helen made Amma a vision in kitchen foil. And I mean, she's kitchen Helen foil and Amma are together. They're always not nice, each other. Yeah. Like there's no tomorrow. Exactly, yeah. But um, you know, when it comes to foil, best of friends. Oh, so look, when, when we saw the direct, direct coverage as well on E4, uh, Brian was making like Narinda's hat and almost everything that, uh, yeah. that he put on the hat. Narinda just disagreed. With. Was wrong, yeah. But she didn't actually tell him why it was wrong or what he should be doing. But everything what, was what, right. Do you know? Or? Uh, there was no specifics. It was just no, that's not me at all. <laughs> and uh, uh, he actually said that he dragged her across the floor by, his, by her hair at one point, which. Uh, <laughs> She didn't take well the first or last time. No, that probably not. Right. No, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> OK, and, and what about this power cut we heard of today? Yeah, a little power cut for half an hour this afternoon. Um, the lights went out. Now, what's and, that um, all about? Because they're solar powered, so, I mean, should there be power cuts or...? I don't know, really. Big Brother being malevolent. <laughs> being malevolent, no, I don't know quite what it was, but um, they were fine about it, apart from Brian, who came in the diary room 
Thanks. And it was pitch black, so he was petrified, which okay. was quite funny. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, off we go. OK, in a very crime watch style uh, we're going to recap the talking point now. Uh, who is the most boring housemate? Give us a call. 0870 901 9070. We'll also be finding out exactly who the voice of Big Brother really is. But first, let's see him in action and sleep well. Please don't have nightmares. Dear 27, time for work. And I arrive fresh-faced and honey-voiced, ready for action at the Big Brother Studios. But before I drop my dulcet tones, there's just enough time for a sly cuppa. No sugar, mind. And I'm finally primed to deliver the goods. On entering Big Brother's inner sanctum, there's a few minutes left to ensure my machinery is stoked and all my knobs are tweaked. And with everything ready to go, it's time to bring Big Brother to life and proclaim those immortal words. Who goes? You decide. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the voice of Big Brother. Voice of Big Brother, how are you feeling? Dear 27, and now it's time to reveal myself. <laughs> voice of Big Brother, please disrobe now. It's Marcus Bentley. <laughs> yes. Yay! Yay! Yes, that did work. <laughs> OK. Uh, Marcus, thank you very much. You've probably lost about £10. Uh, yeah, I needed to anyway. Uh, how'd you get the gig? Well, first series came along, the producers were looking for somebody. They had a few hundred voices, so I was told. Pick man, very lucky man. So you were with the voiceover agency at the time? Yeah, I'm an actor, yeah. I'm an actor, one of you know, job and actor, one of the sides of a job and actor. Uh, and, and what did they ask you to do, audition-wise? Well, <laughs> maybe uh, make a demo with things like uh, Johnny's in the chicken coop ch talking to the chickens. Of course, at that stage of Big Brother, we didn't know what they were talking about. So you must be reading the script going, what on earth? Exactly, yeah. Apple? Yeah, cause a few giggles. Yeah. Bunch of nutters. <laughs> OK, was it always the plan that you'd come back and do the second series? I mean, after the first series. And were you so surprised the first series was so, such a massive success? Well, absolutely. I think it took everybody by surprise, you know. I mean, five weeks in and the nasty nick thing took off and, God, it was, it was amazing. Second series, no, I didn't find out I was doing it till the Tuesday before we started. No way! The were looking for other people, yeah. How dare I know, they? I was absolutely disgusted. <sighs> Boo! Rumours, rumour had it they were looking for a Scottish lady, but, you know... No, but Lorraine yeah. Kelly wasn't available, She so. wasn't, so... I got you're, you're up again, for it. Yeah. And what do you think of this year's housemates? Oh, I love them, yeah. Do uh, you? Yeah, I th I, I, I'm enjoying the housemates better this time. Uh, the lads, I think, are great. Uh, some of the girls are a bit tetchy, you know, mm -hmm. a, bit, a little bit spiky. Uh, great, great viewing. Who's, who's your favourite right now? Bubble and sometimes Brian, yeah. A bubble Brian Cross. Yeah. A hybrid, Bubble's quite as it a were. controversial thing. You know, I go, people ask me all the time, who's your favourite? Bubble. What do they? He's a dad. He's got a nice heart and, you know. And nice what, about your, what about your least favourite? I mean, who, who do you think should go out this week? Well, I think we know who's going. It's going to be Narinda, probably, because, you know, she's caused a lot of arguments. And as Stuart said, you know, she's been up, up to it today as well. You know, telling but people, whilst this has been know. like a fantastic thing for your life, it also must be a nightmare. I mean, you, if you just go like to the supermarket, you're walking around a supermarket and it's fair enough. The minute you go to pay, and they go, you know, well, how are you going to pay? I'll be here by switch. <laughs> or something like that, yeah? <laughs> so then they just look at you. And, well, but it, people it, just must obey you every command. You must be having the Midas yeah. touch. Dear 22, get me shopping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How's your wife uh, reacted? Did she just do everything like quick, extra yeah, fast? She now? better, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I think we'd probably better leave the chat there. Thank you very much, Marcus. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Come again. Okay. Our talking point today, quite simply, is who is the most boring housemate? I'd like to be joined by Stuart, Hiya. who's uh, very happy he's out of there probably now, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yeah. Okay. Uh, should have <laughs> Nick from Glasgow. Hey, Nick. Hi, Dermot, How are you? You're very well. Thank you very much for asking. Mm. <laughs> One Do thing to say: we've got to cull the doll, mate. We have to get rid of Paul. He's doing my nut in. Why? He is the most uninteresting person in the house. He talks in his sleep. He smells Helen's shoes. He exaggerates <laughs> stories. He keeps dropping crockery. He has to go. But that's surely that's a CV of hilarity. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Your big brother voice says Narinda um, should go because she causes arguments. She has to stay because she causes arguments. Is that... We've See, this We've is got very to keep interesting. The excitement in the house, sir. It's the only way. This is the, it's very interesting about the voting criteria, isn't it? Whether you vote someone in, you vote someone out because you dislike them, or you vote someone out because they're dull. And who you, you'll be obviously voting it's for. Got to be dull. Got to be dull. Dull has to go. Dull has to go. Paul has to go. <laughs> Dean has to go. Elizabeth has to go. We have to keep it exciting. <laughs> you should be the voice to be running because I just want to obey you. Now. <laughs> okay, Please thanks. obey me, Dermot. Please. <laughs> did well last week. You got rid of the right person, but we need to do it again. Hi, okay. Thanks a lot. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm coming to see you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nick.
Oh, I like him. I tell you, he should come on. He's I don't like him at all. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean like that. Uh, Jodie from Essex. Hey, Jodie. Hiya, Mermit. Now, who? Be forthright. I like, I'm loving this forthright show today. Go for it. Okay, I think Emma is the most boring person ever. Emma? Emma. To be honest, I think I've got more stimulation in my big toe than what Emma's got in her whole body. Can I just thank you for saying big toe? Because I really didn't know where we were going with that. <laughs> okay, uh, why, why so, though? Okay, Emma's boring because the most creative and interesting thing she's done since coming into the Big Brother house is um, covering herself in tinfoil and I thought she was actually going to go one better and climb into the oven. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so you're not a big fan. Mm. What do you think about Emma? I did one thing I never really picked up Emma. There was a couple of things that if I'd lived with her, the, the incessant farting is it? Is, is, yeah, no, that's terrible. And the one thing I've, I've noticed is how she eats, which would probably annoy me because yeah. she eats with her hands very much, and she's always just like sandwiches going all over her face and stuff. But is, is she actually um, is she actually boring? She saves. I mean, she, she, you're beating a meal, and she'll say, okay, and I only eat a half of that, and then she'll wrap the rest in tin foil, and then she'll go and put it in the fridge, and then she'll pull it out again, and then put it back in again. So mm. that's probably really exciting for her. That's just quite strange, mm. regardless yeah, of the it's tin boring. Queen. I'm just having an absolute fit because for a moment I thought in my earpiece someone said Emma is on the line. It is actually Emma. <laughs> 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 the hilarity. Of my lovely mundane life. Okay, hello. Emma. Hello, Dermot. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Hello, Stuart. Hi. How are you? I'm okay now. Oh, lovely, bless you. <laughs> thank Plenty you. more people here we can ask, but <laughs> you want to know who's the most boring? Um, Elizabeth. She, I think she's the most boring person, let alone in the house, in the whole wide world. In the whole world? Yeah, oh. absolutely. She's got no motivation whatsoever. Um, and I think she reminds me of old Mother Hubbard. Uh, are we walking talking around in that old pink jumper. With the world, are we talking, you know, I mean, we're talking <laughs> both tropics here, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is unbelievable. Mm. What is it exactly about her? I mean, the, the fact she wears a hat and she's a bit like Mother Hubbard and she's got a jumper can't be it. Yeah, well, she, all she's interested in is cooking and horses. Um, and the fact that she didn't, the fact that she doesn't even know what bump and grind is, I mean, says it all, really, doesn't well, it? Yeah, I, think, I personally, I see nothing wrong with a bit of bump and grind. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> OK, thank you very All much. Right, thanks, Dermot. See you later on. OK, just got a couple here. I've been suffering with insomnia for months now, and guess what? A few weeks of Paul on the telly has cured it. Cheers, Paul. That's from Mary Hagan. You got anything there for Yeah, you? very much the same thing. There's only one boring housemate. It has to be Elizabeth. She wears boring clothes. Just look at her jumpers. There you go. Mm -hmm. The most boring and bugging member of the Big Brother housemate is Bubble. He doesn't do anything except uh, sleep, flash his minging body and annoy everyone in there. <laughs> uh, Ella from London. Paul has to be the dullest person. His stories are completely uninteresting. Even his voice is boring. It just drones on. It's up to you to decide on Friday, is it going to be Paul or is it going to be Narinda? On uh, uh, tomorrow's show, we have the family team. Stuart, thank you very much for thank coming you. on. Thanks, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Well, bye bye. OK, so over on Channel 4 at 10 tonight, we'll see how the nominations have ruffled feathers. And then E4 is back live in the human goldfish bowl at 10 past 11 tonight. But after the break, they're all in too deep, in as if. Little brother, we'll get back to you.